Hey guys, welcome back to Job Talks. We're just doing a quick clip today. So uh, you guys have seen before that we like to give shout outs where shout outs are due. Um, and oftentimes we record those, we pre-record them and they come out several weeks later. So um, trying a little different thing here. We're just going to put this video out on a shout out from my local fire department. So you've probably seen on the social medias um, this past week or two. Um, the new Bedford fire department made a pretty sick grab. Um, so new Bedford fire, uh, received a call, uh, several calls for a house fire. Um, first on scene was their, uh, deputy chief or sorry, district chief Gomes confirmed that there were three people trapped in the house. Um, he was able to go up the back staircase and bring, uh, an elderly male out through that staircase. Uh, while that was happening, one victim from the third floor was able to get out of a window onto a flat roof. Um, ladder one and ladder three were on scene and were able to make the rescue of that person over ladder one stick. Uh, after that, engine one and ladder one pushed into the home, rescued a wheelchair-bound elderly woman from inside the third floor apartment. The rescue was made under... Um, extreme heat conditions. I don't know um, the final status of the patient. I do know that they were flown to a or taken to a trauma center. Um, so just uh, want to highlight some of these uh, photos up here. And uh, if you're listening to this on the audio based platform, we're going to put these on our social media. Um, but the, the first picture there is a photo of the house, um, followed by several photos of the um, firefighters turnout gear. And uh, I, I believe... This was a, uh, a lieutenant, Lieutenant Steven Torres. He was the one who um, made this grab. So you can see his turnout gear here. Um, his uh, bunker coat, bunker pants uh, burned pretty well through. Um, you can see it goes from the outer shell to the kind of like that middle layer and then all the way into that like Nomex lining there. And uh, you can see that the heat came all the way through. You can also see the heat on his MSA air pack there. So I sold these photos. Um, the photo of the home was from a, a person, Manny Fernandez. The rest of these came off of the New Bedford Fire Department social media pages. Um, so some additional details real quick. The rescue of the woman from the third floor occurred under very high heat conditions. Uh, they were in the process of trying to get lines up to that third floor. Um, the lieutenant from Ladder 1, Stephen Torres, shielded the woman from the heat with his gear during the rescue. So not only was he up there making the grab, but he was actually putting himself between the Made flames the conscious decision and the person. Yeah, yeah it's uh, insane. Yeah, put the person yeah. before the self, which is um, which is huge. Um, and uh, this is, again, from New Bedford Fire. They said his uh, his turnout gear and SCBA were able to continue to function, which is pretty sick. As you can see, that was, uh, like I said, really high heat. So um, just real quick, wanted to give this shout-out to the New Bedford Fire Department. Uh, good coordinated rescue. And uh, and to Lieutenant Steven Torres, who put uh, who put uh, others before himself, self for others. sure, yeah. right here. So this is this is what the fire service is all about, right here. And uh, hats off to you, awesome, yeah. awesome job, yeah. walking work, the walk, brother. Yeah. walking the walk, great yep. job. Um, fortuitously, another big word here. Fortuitously, uh, <laughs> fortuitously uh, I was building an episode on search when this came up, and so uh, come back in a couple weeks for the uh, episode on primary search. Thanks, guys. Job talks out. Hey guys, if you like that clip, check out the full episode of Job Talks on our channel. Make sure you're subscribed to watch a new episode there every Saturday at noon. Nailed it. Can I use that one? Cause it's <laughs> Nailed it. No, that's the one.